This illustration deals with the ESS disconnecting means in accordance with 706.15A1 through A3. Uh, the purpose of change here, a revision uh, was accepted and has been added uh, to uh, make it uh, very clearly that a disconnect shall be provided for all ungrounded conductors derived from an energy storage system, uh, ESS. Now, uh, notice that we list some of these power sources, uh, and notice we say, yeah, you need a disconnect for those. And if you look at the call-out, readily accessible disconnecting means we would need to review 706.15A1 through A3 as an apple. Uh, to get a, a clearer uh, uh, information that pertains to this revision, then uh, look at, review the notes. And note one talks about the disconnecting means. And it says the disconnecting means shall be I mean, that's ma that means it's mandatory. Number one bullet has to be readily accessible. 706.15. A is an apple, one. Uh, the second bullet says it has to be within sight or as close as practical, in a, and really that's up to the authority having jurisdiction or acceptance. Uh, and, it, and we're told to review 706.15A as an apple two. The bullet three, feel marked and not handwritten. You just can't uh, uh, feel mark it with handwritten information. Uh, that's the basic rule, 706.15A2. Uh, and then finally, it has to be of the lockable type. 706.15A3, along with 110.25, must be reviewed to completely understand this rule. Not saying now that the designer uh, or the installer, the inspector, the maintainer that's reviewing this presentation, that you don't know that. We're just saying that this revision wanted to make sure that we all were on the same page and did know what this revision pertained to. Now, note two deals for dwelling units. And basically, it talks about the disconnect. And it said the disconnect shall be located outside of unit in a readily accessible location. Well, not really readily, but accessible so that you'd have access to it. Now, if we didn't kind of key in on what's readily accessible and accessible, then go to Article 100, and those two terms are defined so we know that accessible is different than readily accessible. Now, uh, the call-outs, we kind of looked at those. We'd have PV, uh, wind generators, uh, uh, wind electrical systems, uh, batteries with a charger, a generator set, it could be Article 700, 701, or 702, based upon the type of loads that, uh, that ge the generator would supply, is how we'd classify it. So uh, we know, we've said before, 700.2, uh, 701.2, 702.2, we'll list the loads the generator supplies or the user uh, to classify it. Now, you'd say, well, you, now you've told us that before. Uh, why are you repeating it? Well, what if I'm the uh, designer or the installer, and I just want to look at this disconnecting means and the change? Well, I, I would have necessarily read all those ahead, ahead of it, ahead of this uh, uh, revision. So uh, we repeat it just in case you review this particular illustration, but you haven't reviewed any of them upstream uh, uh, from this uh, uh, change and this revision. So that's why we repeat it sometimes and be, uh, we're a little repetitious. We just want to make sure that we do provide as much information as time will allow us to provide.